If you're torn between a Jeep Wrangler and a pickup truck, the Gladiator's perfect for you, so long as you don't mind some on-road compromises and a hefty price. What kind of vehicle is the 2024 Jeep Gladiator? With Wrangler bones and style, the 2024 Jeep Gladiator is a mid-size crew cab pickup truck. Although it isn't as comfy as competitors, the Gladiator is an excellent hauler and off-road vehicle. We score 4.8 out of 10 on the TCC scale because it is also more costly. What's new for the 2024 Jeep Gladiator? The Gladiator has minimal exterior and interior style changes this year. Its dash features a new 12.3-inch touchscreen, and the majority of models now have automated emergency braking. Fewer model levels remain in the selection, and the pricey diesel option has been removed. With its classic Jeep style throughout, the 2024 Gladiator looks like the pickup truck it is. Based on a Jeep Wrangler, it has a 5-foot bed and is available in a single crew cab body. The redesigned dash is packed with elegance inside. Maybe too much for some, but it's definitely more intriguing than most rivals. The only engine is a 3.6-liter V6 with 285 horsepower, and four-wheel drive is standard on all variants. A six-speed manual gearbox is standard equipment on Jeep vehicles. Off-road enthusiasts may value the manual's four-wheeling control, but an eight-speed automatic transmission is available and typically behaves better. This is no rookie when it comes to rock crawling or mud plugging. Look underneath for strong, sturdy axles with coil springs throughout, as well as excellent approach departure angles and ground clearance. A basic sport model can manage rough terrain as well. With its automated front sway bar disconnect, the Rubicon tackles rock crawling, while the Mojave boasts of its high-speed capabilities thanks to Fox shocks. Because of the outdated V6 engine and brick-like appearance, fuel economy is poor across the board. Strive for a combined 19 mpg. Conversely, the Gladiator can tote up to 7,700 pounds when outfitted appropriately. Although the new motorized driver's seat option allows for more flexibility than ever before, the interior is not very luxurious. A narrow back seat opening exposes a trim surface. There is a ton of headroom, particularly when the top is folded back or removed completely. In a Tacoma, give it a try. There are now six airbags as standard, up from four the previous year, and automatic emergency braking is available on most models. Put another way, in terms of safety technology, the Gladiator has finally surpassed its main competitors from a few years ago. How much does the 2024 Jeep Gladiator cost? Figure at least $40,000 in its most basic configuration. And we do mean basic, since Jeep charges extra for power windows and locks. A well-equipped model can top $60,000 easily. 2024 Jeep Gladiator Styling The Jeep Gladiator is a great car for you if you want traditional Jeep styling characteristics like the prominent fenders, round headlights, and upright slotted grille. From the front bumper to the back doors, it is unmistakably a Wrangler and everywhere else, it is obviously inspired by one. It receives a seven on the TCC scale for being stylish and functional. Only the most ardent Jeep fans will be able to discern the subtle changes for 2024. Its updated wheel designs and grille slots have new detailing, and the antenna has been incorporated into the windshield. Significant alterations occur therein, wherein a novel 12.3-inch touchscreen assumes a central role. Surface materials differ according to trim level, starting from inexpensive polymers at the bottom of the spectrum and going all the way up to quite elegant synthetic leather with stitching. 2024 Jeep Gladiator Comfort and Ampep Quality The passenger cabin of the 2024 Jeep Gladiator is not very comfy. While there may be stylistic benefits to sharing its fundamental form with the Jeep Wrangler, there aren't many comfort benefits. The Gladiator's large bed, rather than its cozy cabin, is what gives it a five-star rating here. Because the 2024 Gladiator is elevated above the ground, there is less chance of water or mud swiftly entering the cabin 
thanks to its shallow door apertures. Because of this, getting inside it is difficult, unless you have really long legs or want to use the heavy running boards. When boarding, expect hard seats with little room for adjustment, unless you choose the new power option available on higher-end models. The Gladiator first provides lumbar support adjustability at last. However, the power seat has no effect on the legroom in the front seats. Large feet have less room because of the large transmission and transfer case tunnel. As per the specification sheet, there is 38.3 inches of legroom available for riders in the rear seat. A flat, unsupportive bench and narrow door openings believably show less comfort. Not only is it cramped inside, but the Gladiator is downright loud on the highway with the standard soft top. The available hardtop quiets things down a bit, but we still recommend the insulating headliner. At least interior trim impresses, with nice surface graining and an appealing design with plenty of fun touches. Jeep offers just a single bed size, a five-footer with an available spray-in bed liner, a roll-top cover, and a power outlet. The light aluminum tailgate makes loading stuff up easy enough. How safe is the Jeep Gladiator? We won't rate the most recent Gladiator version just yet because it hasn't been crash tested. It was previously given just four stars overall by the NHTSA. This year's additions include roll bar integrated curtain side airbags. They add to the already existing dual front and dual front seat mounted airbags, which protect both front and rear seat occupants for a total of six airbags, active lane control, Adaptive cruise control and automated emergency braking are just a few of the driver assistance features that Jeep combines. Blind spot monitors are an optional feature on all models except the base sport, but that technology is standard on the others. 2024 Jeep Gladiator Features The 2024 Jeep Gladiator offers a lot of options, despite not being a particularly good value. The Gladiator has few features for the price, probably starting at $40,000. In addition to wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, a fabric top, crank windows, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen, Jeep also charges extra for autonomous emergency braking. Though it loses a point for its limited regular fare, the Gladiator gains points for its large screen and abundance of features. This is a six. Jeep includes the first few services and a three-year 36, 000 mile guarantee. Which Jeep Gladiator should I buy? That really depends on what you're after. If you want to tow or haul, stick with the base sport and perhaps add a hard top, the Max Trailer Tow Group and the Convenience Group with its heated front seats and steering wheel. With its locking rear differential and 32-inch mud tires, the Willys Grade is a good option for off-roaders who don't want to go over their budget. Rubicons can be equipped with the Max Trailer Tow Package, however they are best suited for low-speed four-wheeling. On the other hand, the Mojave is equipped with Fox shocks, which perform admirably both off-road and on pavement. As a result of Jeep discontinuing the Overland trim level, the Gladiator will not come in a premium variant in 2024. Thanks for watching.